pieces of the heavenly kingdom don't work, I'll come back with another solution. Yeah. Goddess, I heard you created humans by dipping a rope in wet clay and swinging it around real fast. The droplets turn into us. Pay no attention to these unfounded rumors. I crafted each of you by hand. That sounds like it was a lot of hard work. No, Kuhn. It was a joy. You and your kind, you were worth it. This piece of heaven is pretty dirty, and these monsters seem to be attracted to it. Did you know your parents? I have faint recollection of them, but that was a long time ago, relatively speaking. Oh, I see. I learned to not take crap from anyone, human or god. Uh, I mean, humans. <laughs> This piece will be of some use. Goddess Nua, I found a piece of heaven, but it's covered in that stuff. It's corrupted. There must be some that remain untainted. Peng Lai used to be the land of rainbows, right? Maybe those dragons to the east... Child, don't even think of going there. No dragons! Find me more pieces of heaven and hurry back. Okay, okay. Right after I see about a dragon.
Everything I've heard about dragons says the elements are at their command. I also heard they're kind of freeloaders. Weird. before I'm free. Smell like a snake's armpit, man. Thanks a bunch, kid. Hong's the name. Always smart to get on a dragon's good side. You're a dragon? Obviously. I may not be all in <clears throat> one piece, but I had the power to make your semi wildest dreams come true. If you're really who you say you are, then you can help me restore the balance to this land. Whoa, whoa. Remember I said semi-wildest. 
what about a rainbow? Can you give me that? Okay. Just so happens that rainbows are my specialty. We dragons kind of own when it comes to the elements and all that. Uh, awesome. But uh, I'm guessing it's not that simple. First things first. I need to be reunited with my little sis Ni. She completes me. Literally. If you can help a dragon out, get you what you need. The purest form of the heavens. Surely this will be an even bigger help to the goddess. Fine. But you better make good on those promises. You got it. Mind if I hit your right? Oh man. That doesn't feel too good. far back. We're getting there. Wait, so this is your twin? That means two-headed dragon. I knew it. I'm on the right path. Being a dragon must rule. I mean, how did you use all that power? We used our weather power mostly to mess up people's picnics. That's it. The looks on their faces were pure jade.
me. Don't be scared. It's just a boring old human. No offense, kid. Hello, Ni. Nee. I'm Ku. The boring old human that freed you. And your brother. This thing? Um, so about that rainbow. You heard of Blazer? Nice neighborhood, affordable prices, amazing storms. Since then, I need to energize a bit. And that's the perfect place. <laughs> Home of the dragons? I've always wanted to visit. Uh, let's go right... Oh, wait. Hold on. Where are you? Is everything okay? Are you alright? What's taking you so long? Goddess Nua, I have something great to share with you. I may have a lead on the element of heaven. Oh, okay. Wonderful. Hurry back. Nua? Oh, crap. Misery in one giant vortex. Huh. No big deal. been wondering did you know what humans would be like before you created them no each creature I made had their own personality beyond my control I had some successes like dogs for example any duds uh, the cockroach even now I have no idea what I was thinking with that one kid did I hear you correctly you're taking us to Mua, the New what? Yeah. So? I don't know why, but the sound of her name just makes my ethereal form feel all sorts of angry. And not in a good way. I found 
What took you so long? Did you find the pieces of heaven? I found something even better. Yeah. Two dragon souls. They can bring us a real rainbow. Dragons? And where are they now? Oh, they can't travel too far, so I let them into my body. Hey, you two, come out. You did what? What else did they promise you? These dragons are dangerous, child. You've seen how the chaos affects anything from heaven. Yes, you're right. I've seen the heaven has fallen to the scar, but the sky still stands. Why is this such a difficult choice for you? Do not talk to me about choice, child. There is so much you do not yet understand. I made many hard choices to protect humankind. Sacrifices had to be made. And everything worked out just fine. No regrets. Regrets? I'd make the same choices again in a heartbeat. Everything I did then and do now is for humankind, for you! And now you're just... Why can't you just be safe and stay put? Goddess, there are plenty of people that are staying put. And it's not by choice. I will recover these dragons' power with or without you. Recover? Wait, you don't know. Come back, child! What are you gonna do, Goddess? Lock me up again? I won't get in your way. Do what you think is necessary. <laughs>